తెలంగాణ సాయిల్స్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ ఇన్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ యూ విల్ బి డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ సాయిల్ ఫార్మేషన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ ఎఫెక్టింగ్ సాయిల్ ఫార్మేషన్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ సాయిల్ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ సాయిల్ ఎరోజన్ సాయిల్ కన్జర్వేషన్ సాయిల్ ఇస్ అ సర్ఫేస్ లేయర్ ఆన్ ద అర్త్ కంపోజింగ్ మినరల్ పార్టికల్స్ ఫార్మ్డ్ బై బ్రేకింగ్ డౌన్ ఆఫ్ రాక్ డికేడ్ ఆర్గానిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ లివింగ్ ఆర్గానిజమ్స్ వాటర్ అండ్ ఎయిర్ సాయిల్ ఇస్ ఫార్మ్డ్ అండర్ స్పెసిఫిక్ న్యాచురల్ కండిషన్ అండ్ ఈచ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద న్యాచురల్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ కాంట్రిబ్యూట్ టు దిస్ కాంప్లెక్స్ ప్రాసెస్ డిస్క్రైబ్డ్ బై ద సాయిల్ సైంటిస్ట్ as a process of pedogenesis the prosperity of the one's country depend on the richness of the soil for an agricultural country like india soils form basic important resource in general soils are formed in two methods namely in situ and transported in situ are those where inorganic or mineral component of the soil is derived from parent rock through weathering at the source and by transportation is involved examples black soil red soil on the other hand the transported soil under the influence of exogenic forces like wind water glacier etc the fine soil particles are transported to long distances and deposited at various locations the sand hills in deserts alluvial soils in delta region coastal sand etc in india The Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR has classified the soils into eight groups. They are alluvial soil, black soil, red and yellow soil, laterate soil, mountain soil, desert or arid soil, saline soil, PT or organic soil. A pedologist who studies soil define soil as a collection of natural bodies on the earth surface containing living material and supporting or capable of supporting plants soil is dynamic medium in which many chemicals physical and biological activities go on constantly soil as a result of decay it is also the medium for growth it is a changing and developing body it has many characteristics that fluctuate with the seasons it may be alternatively cold and warm or dry and moist biological activity is slowed or stopped if the soil becomes too cold or too dry organic matter increases when leaf falls or grasses die the soil chemistry the amount of organic matter the soil flora and fauna the temperature and the moisture all the change with the seasons as well as with more extended period of time that means soil becomes adjusted to conditions of climate land form and vegetation and will change internally even those controlling conditions change soil formation or pedogenesis is depending first on weathering it is this weather in mantle which is a basic input of the soils to form first the weathered material transported deposits are colonized by bacteria and other inferior plants bodies like mosses and lichens also several minor organisms may take shelter within the mantle and deposit minor grasses is an another important which grow later bushes trees will start growing through seeds brought in by the birds and winds plant root penetration down burrowing animals bring up particles masses of mat- materials becomes porous and sponge like with the capacity to retain water and to permit the passage of air and finally immature soil complex mixture of minerals and organic products forms soil forming factors five basic factors control the formation of soil parent material topography climate biological activity time in fact soil forming factors act in union and affect act in union and affect the action of one another parent material parent material is a passive control of factors in soil formation 
parent materials can be any in-situ or on-site weathered rock debris or transported deposits. Soil formation depends upon the texture and structure as well as the mineral and chemical composition of the rock debris or deposits. Nature and the rate of weathering and the depth of weathering mantle are important considering important consideration under parent materials. Also, in cases of some limestone areas where the weathering process are specific and particular soils will show clear relation with the parent rock. Topography Topography like parent material is another passive control factor. The influence of topography is felt through the amount of exposure of the surface covered by parent materials to sunlight and the amount of surface and subsurface drainage over and through the parent materials. Soils will be thin on steep slopes and thick over flat upland areas over gentle slopes where erosion slows in population of water is good. Soils over flat areas may develop a thick layer of clay with good accumulation of organic matter giving that the soil dark color in the mid latitudes the south facing slopes exposed to sunlight have different conditions of vegetation and soils and the north facing slopes with cool moisture conditions have some other soil and vegetation. Climate Climate is an important active factor in soil formation. The climatic elements involved in soil development are moisture in the terms of its intensity, frequency and the duration of precipitation, evaporation and humidity. Temperature in terms of seasonal and diagonal variations. Precipitation gives soil its moisture content which makes us chemical and biological activities possible. In climate like wet, equatorial rainy areas with high rainfall not only calcium, sodium, magnesium, potassium etc. but also major part of the silica is removed from the soil. The removal of silica from the soil is known as desilication. Biological activity. The vegetative cover and the organisms that occupy the parent material from the beginning and also the later stages help in adding the organic matter, moisture retention, nitrogen etc. Dead plants provide humus. The fine divided organic matter of the soil. Some organic acids which form during humidification aid the decomposition. Intensity of the bacterial activity shows up differences between soil of cold and warm climates. Humus accumulates in cold climate as bacterial growth slows. With undecomposed organic matter because of the low bacterial activity, layers of peat are developed in subarctic and tundra climate. In humid tropical equatorial climate, bacteria growth and action is intense and dead vegetation is rapidly oxidized leaving very low humus content in the soil. Rhizobium, a type of bacteria, lives in the root nodules of leguminous plants and fixes nitrogen beneficial to the host. The influence of the large animals like and storms in earthworms, rodents, etc. is mechanical, but it is nevertheless important in soil formation as they rework the soil up and down. Time. Time is the third important controlling factor in soil formation. The soil becomes mature and all forming processes act for a significant long time. Developing a profile soil developed from recently it deposited album or glacier, young soils exhibit no horizons or only power developed horizons. Term can be fixed for soils to develop and mature. Types of soils in Telangana. A total of 7 types of soils are spread over Telangana state as per soils of AP 1976. They are red loamy soils, they are also called as dabba, red sandy soils known as chalka, laterate soils, shallow to medium black soil, deep black soil, salt affected soils, alluvial soils. These types of soils allow the plantation of variety of fruits and vegetable crops such as mangoes, oranges, coconut, sugarcane, paddy, banana and banana in the flower crops. Red soils. In Telangana basically two types of red soils are distributed. They are the red sandy loams, chalka 
and the red loamy sandy dabba red soils are formed by decomposition of granite and gneisses these are the reddish in color because presence of iron oxide in the soil silica in nitrogen phosphorus phosphorus acid and organic matter and less fertile they are generated from granite rocks and having less density less weight with good water holding capacity in these soil pulses like red gram green gram horse gram etc oil fields like groundnut and chester are grown under assured horticulture is favored in the recent times where sufficient water is available crops like cotton sugarcane rice and other vegetables are preferred red soils are mainly used for cultivation of coarser grains pulses and oil seeds out of 33 districts 32 except karimnagar districts are covered with red soil southern part of nizamabad in northern part of the jogalamba gadwal are covered by very less red soil black soils black soils are also known as regur soils or black cotton soils because these soils are suitable for the cultivation of cotton it is formed by solidification of lava spread over the large areas of deccan plateau based on these differences black soils can be classified into four types shallow black soils with gypsum shallow black soils without gypsum deep black soils with gypsum deep black soils without gypsum the black soils are generally clayey deep and impermeable this when wet becomes sticky and strings when dry so during the dry season these soils develop wide cracks thus there occurs a kind of self ploughing because of this character of slow absorption and less moisture the black soil retain the moisture for very long time which helps the crops especially the rain fed ones to sustain even during the dry season its shades depend upon the depth of the deposition the texture of the western part of the deccan plateau the black soil is very deep these soils are generally clay deep and impermeable and having the capacity to retain moisture for longer duration compared to other soils black soils are very rich in mineral content because it is formed due to volcanic activities and contain high quality of iron aluminum magnesium and lime the black soils are distributed in the lower part of krishna and godavari basin the black soils are distributed more in the northern part of the telangana state than the southern part the northern districts namely parts of adilabad nirmal nizamabad komaram bheem mancherial jagityal peddapalli karimnagar rajanna sirsila varangal mehbubabad mulug badradri and some parts of siddipet and khammam districts black soils are distributed mixed black and red soil this also found in the southern districts of the states namely jogulamba vanaparthi nagarkarnool southern parts and the northern districts namely adilabad nirmal komaram bheem mancherial jagityal pedapalli districts adilabad district is having highest mixed black and red soils it covers nearly 7% of the geographical area of the telangana state laterite soils later it has been derived from the latin word later which means brick the laterite soils developed in the areas with high temperatures in high rainfall these are the result of the intense leaching due to the tropical rains which due to the tropical rains with rain lime with iron lime and silica are leached away and the soil rich in iron oxide and aluminum are left over behind humus content of the soil is removed fast by the bacteria and thrive well in the high temperatures these soils are poor in organic matter nitrogen phosphate calcium while iron oxide and potash are in excess hence laterites are not suitable for cultivation however application of manures and fertilizers are required for making the soil fertile for cultivation laterite soils are mainly found in those areas where rainfall occur more than 200 cm it is also formed in hot humid in high rainfall regions these soils are light in color from whitish to red these soils are so deep in nature with a rounded pebble and alluvium at the bottom laterite soils are also divided into two types they are associated with the steep slopes of the hilly terrain 
available near the shores but in low lying areas. Generally speaking, soils with higher altitudes are more acidic than those of the lower altitudes. The laterate soils are distributed in Zahirabad, Naikal and Kor Mandals in Sangaredi districts in some parts of the Vikarabad districts and it covers nearly 2% of the geographical area of the state. Salt affected soils. These types of soils are found in erstwhile Rangaredi, Nizamabad, Medak districts. Alluvial soils. Alluvial soils are present in Medak district along the river course of Manjira, Haldi, Nakkavagu and Pedavagu. Alluvial soils are also found along the river belt of Altai, Kagra land, flat topography areas and all along sides of the river Krishna and its tributaries of Nalgonda and Suryapet districts. Range type of soils are also found in the Krishna along the tributaries like Alai, Dindi, Halia, Pedavagu, etc. These types of soil covers nearly 1% of the geographical area of the state. Soil erosion. The gradual loss and transportation of soils by geomorphic agents like glaciers, winds, rivers, waves, etc. is called as soil erosion. The loss of fertility is also called as soil erosion. Soil erosion is accelerated due to the over exploitation of the forest, deforestation, forest fires, overgrazing, etc. The soil erosion is also severe such that there is a, if there is a rainfall for a month in a year, an estimated quality of 1 to 13 tons of soil in the forest area in 300 tons in an open land are transported elsewhere. The disadvantage of the soil erosion are innumerable loss in the soil fertility, siltation of canals and dams causing floods, in turn loss in property, soils and water conservation practices go hand in hand to arrest soil erosion. Some of the methods that need to be followed with respect to counter trenching, terrace farming, afforestation, rock fill dams, check dams, percolation times, farm pounds, farm trenches, etc. are some examples. Soil degradation. Soil degradation can be defined as a decline in soil fertility when the nutrient status declines and the depth of the soil goes down due to erosion and misuse. Soil degradation is a main factor leading to the depleting soil resource base in India. The degree of soil degradation varies from place to place according to topography, wind velocity and the amount of rainfall. Soil conservation. It includes all those measures which help in protecting the soil from e erosion and exhaustion. From erosion and exhaustion, soil erosion has been continuing over such a large part of India for such a long time that it is assumed alarming provisions. If soil erosion and exhaustion are caused by humans by cholerally, they are can also be prevented by humans. Nature has its own law of maintaining balance. Nature offers enough opportunity for humans to develop their economy without disturbing the ecological balance. Soil conservation is a methodology to maintain soil fertility, prevent soil erosion and exhaustion and improve the degraded conditions of the soil. Soil erosion is essentially aggravated by faulty practices. The first step in any rational solution is to check open cultivable lands on slope from farming. Land with a slope for cultivation if at all and it is to be used for agriculture. Terraces should be carefully be made. Overgrazing and shifting agriculture in many parts of India have affected the natural cover of the land and given rise to extensive erosion. It should be regulated and controlled by educating villages about the consequences of counterbinding, counter terracing, regulated forestry control, grazing cover, grazing cover cropping, mixed farming and crop rotation are some of the remedial measures which are often adopted to reduce soil erosion. In Telangana state, there is a 26.9 lakh hectares of forest area which is only 24% of the total geographical area. To enhance this 24% green cover to 33% green cover, government of Telangana have launched its flagship program Telangana Ko Harita Haram in year 2014-15. National forest policy is a messenger that the 33% of the geographical area should be under forest or green cover. In this program, 
it is supposed to plant and regenerate 230 crore seedlings as follows. Outside forest area, 133 crores and 100 crores within forest area. Soil and moisture conservation works are taken up to improve the moisture in the forest area, which will help in regeneration of the weighable root stock during this year. The new concept of the seed bombing has been introduced under Telangana Haritaharam to take up the greenery on slopes, hillocks and remote areas. Seed balls are prepared with earth, manure and other nutrients. The loose surface materials of the earth is called soil. Soils were formed as a result of weathering of rock and minerals by physical and chemical processes. Telangana contains various soil types extending from highly fertile alluvial soil to infertile sand soils. Even though there are irregular penny plains in the state, red soil, black soil and lateral soils are present. Telangana mainly consists of red soil, alluvial soil, black soil on tabletop. Soils. Indian Council of Agricultural Resource has classified soils of India into eight categories. They are mainly four categories. They are mainly four categories of soils in Telangana: red soil, black soil, laterate soil, and alluvial soils. <laughs>